are just winners with Miles Tabor and Jay Williams, Cohen Masters of Sports, and Mariana Brown is Wedded. And now for our just number one news team. It's time for Sam for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, Attention salute, Pledge. pledge. Today is a high of 71 with a low of 55 tonight. It's very good to be a week. There are events every day. Tomorrow is pajama day and also bring a toothbrush and toothpaste to Jenny to the Phoenix Center. Friday is movie character day for middle school and Disney character day for elementary. Middle school will have a pet rally on Friday. The robotics club will meet today from 2.45 to 3.30 in the GTT room. Tonight is literacy night from 6 to 7.30. Come out and participate in multiple literacy activities. Safe period is now accepting donations for hiking kits for United Way. Once compiled, the kits will be distributed to the community. Please send in travel size soap, shampoo, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrushes, and cones. Ziploc gallon sized bags are also needed. All items should be brought to school by November 8th. You may drop off items in the 6th grade pod or email Mrs. Schmatzer. The PGA Sherwood Forest sale of fresh holiday decorations continues on November 10th. Due to school being out on Monday, there will be no intramurals next week. Football intramurals resume Monday, November 14th. The letter Larry book uh, is available through middle school students through tomorrow. Today is the final day of basketball tryouts. The next beta club meeting will be November 15th from 3 to 3.45 in the middle school gym. There will be soccer skills and drills camps for 2nd to 4th graders on November 19th from 9 a.m. to noon. Interested students may sign up using links on social media. Today's lunch menu includes shepherd pie, fish and chips, french fries, whole grain roll, glazed carrots, and fresh fruit. Sports with the Masters. As our trial is ending today, we are anxious to see who made this year's team. We spoke with Ms. Cricket and Mr. Young about what they'd like to see in their team. Scrimmaging and doing different drills. And what are you looking for in a basketball player? I would say some of the things I'm looking for in a basketball player. First of all, for middle school age, I would say the fundamentals, just dribbling, passing, ball handling, being able to make about 80% of layups, things like that. Just fundamental things. We don't expect NBA talent, but Fundamentals for basketball. I would also say someone who is going to put in 110% effort is really big in general, working hard. Somebody who's going to be aggressive, who's really going to get out there, be intense, who wants to be in the game, who wants to win the game. So I would say that's some of the things I'm looking for. I would say top three goals would be, first of all, to make the playoffs this year. I think that's a good goal for our team. I think secondly, goal is always to have fun. Of course, I want the girls to have fun at practice and the games. And lastly, I would say to see really individual improvement from the beginning of season to the end and also just improvement as a team as a whole for us to improve and to get better. So, go Gators, come support us this season. We start in December. It's Trivia Thursday. Today's trivia question is, what NBA player has the most points ever scored in a game? students were able to attend a drug dog and SWAT team presentation as part of Red Ribbon Week. Elementary students listened to officers explain how drug dogs help them keep our community safe. The dogs are learning how to train. Okay, and what did you learn from the drug dog presentation? They, they, they know how to sniff. What did you learn about drugs? That they can harm you and stay away from them. Thank you. Learn that dogs can smell easy Third, fourth, and fifth graders attended a SWAT team presentation. Team members demonstrated how police handle high risk building entries. If we walk into a certain lane, we're going to crouch down, double look at the viewport, and we're going to walk.
to get a book of their choice. This is an event sponsored multiple times a year by the PTA. The answer to today's trivia question is, Wilkes Chamberlain. The gritty competition is tomorrow in Pembroke. Now is the time to see our older students show what they have. Bring it on, 8th graders! Right foot creep, boom, walk them with that heat. Look around, stay low, make sure they don't see you. Catch them bad, walk down, face them with that heat. The devil under the head. And this is my old favorite. And you just watched the IGF students yeah. were able to alter a... What? Camden Ingle visited the book fair. I'm sorry, but I yawned.